Kyle has a genetic disorder called SYNGAP1. We make these videos to show what our lives are like living with multiple disabilities and to help other families like ours feel less alone. Kyle is literally back in the saddle after not being on a horse for eight years. We are so excited to have Kyle participating in hippotherapy again. Hippo comes from a Greek word hippos, which means horse. Occupational speech and physical therapists use the natural gait and movement of a horse to provide motor and sensory input to help individuals reach specific therapy goals. Completing therapeutic activities on a horse is highly motivating and engaging for the rider. When Kyle was about seven years old, we were introduced to hippotherapy by Glenna Fisher, who started Jacobs Fund, a nonprofit foundation in memory of her grandson who had special needs and benefited from hippotherapy. To honor Jacob, her foundation provides financial assistance to children with developmental disabilities who would benefit from hippotherapy to improve their quality of life. For a couple of years, Kyle participated in weekly sessions at Hilltop Equestrian Center, and as you can tell from the videos we took over eight years ago, Kyle loved it there. We did too, but unfortunately their facility was over a 45 minute drive one way, and we eventually had to discontinue when life was just too busy for me to keep it up. <laughs> I saw you. Good job, Kyle. Good job. Just this past month though, Breeze Hill Therapy opened up just 20 minutes from our home and I was quick to sign Kyle up. It's as if he never missed a session. As soon as Kyle saw the horse, he approached it without hesitation and immediately indicated that he wanted on. Oh, look, he's ready. He's like, put me up on there, just go ahead. He's, <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> Kyle spent the next 30 minutes riding and completing a series of activities with Jane, the owner of Breeze Hill and a pediatric occupational therapist. Assisting her were two volunteers to lead the horse and to be on Kyle's other side for safety. Jane had already conducted an evaluation prior to his first session to set specific goals for him. <laughs> I know. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Say go. If you've been following our story on YouTube for a while, you already know that I'm a hand lettering artist and love to draw and illustrate. I decided to check out if Skillshare, the sponsor of this video, had any courses specific to horses. Sure enough, I found several courses about how to draw or paint a horse. I chose this course by Mara Luster to learn to paint a horse portrait in watercolor. She takes you through every step teaching watercolor techniques along the way. She specifically teaches the course with a portrait of a halflinger horse, which is a type of horse Kyle rode in his first couple of sessions of hippotherapy. Skillshare has thousands of online art courses, as well as courses in almost anything that you might want to learn about. Check out their site to learn something new, and if you're one of the first 1,000 viewers to use the link in the description box below, Skillshare will give you a one-month free membership. Oh. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>
When his session was over, Kyle signed more and wanted right back on. Kyle, are you ready to ride your horse? Hey, I have a question. Kyle, where's your helmet go? That's right. Let's go put it on and get on your horse. Hello. Ready to put your helmet on? But his laughter is contagious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> hey, happy boy. I'm smiling. Say go, Kyle. Go, go, Kyle. He's saying all the Goodbye. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Give him love. Oh, her. Giving her love. Sophia. She wants another kiss. Oh, I love Sophia, Kyle. Very You're ready for next week already, huh? We're excited about the therapy Kyle will receive through writing, as well as being able to participate in an activity that brings him so much joy.